Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial of Learn Load Runner series. Starting today, we are going to see some advanced concepts in Vuegen. And the first thing we are going to see about correlation in the next video. But uh, in this video, we are going to see uh, what information uh, uh, will be helpful to you so that you will comfortable when we move forward. So as you know, Microfocus has a demo uh, package to learn the views and concepts. Uh, they have the cookie session uh, uh, configurations in the administration panel of web tools. But from my perspective, uh, uh, I would like to have something, uh, uh, a demo application in different domain, like more secured uh, domain like uh, banking or uh, uh, insurance uh, or health, right? So, <clears throat> so to learn about uh, correlation, uh, uh, we are going to take a demo application called uh, Altura Mutual, as you see in the screen. Uh, it is a demo website from IBM uh, to learn the IBM products uh, stuff, uh, example like AppScan. Uh, <clears throat> so this has a, a, a test credential called J Smith uh, Demo One Two Three Four Capital D. I will put the credentials in the uh, description uh, section uh, below the video. So to get started. Uh, we will see what is a session ID and uh, how we can handle in uh, Vuegen and how it will be how it is helpful uh, for a user and how it is helpful for the uh, uh, server. So whenever you browse, whenever you try to log in into some secured websites uh, like your banking or health or insurance or a travel, so your application your browser or uh, or the server will identify you. You are the right uh, person accessing your data so that you will not uh, mishandle the information or you will not steal the information. So whenever you're launching a page, whenever you are entering your password, username and clicking on uh, login, uh, the server will generate a unique tag unique id so that it will identify you as a rightful owner and you can browse along with the other page and this id will have some duration set by the server uh, say it might be 30 seconds or one minute or two hours or one day one week so after that the session will expire so that no one will uh, be able to access your application or access your uh, uh, the browser session but there, there is a possibility of uh, session hijacking uh, by sending an email. Uh, uh, people will ask you to click on some link and then it will uh, send you the uh, information from your browser or cookies. So that is also possible. So they have a stringent architecture about the session uh, so that no one can hijack. So it is your responsibility to learn how your application behaves, how your application uh, interacts with the user and uh, uh, how many hops are there between the browser and the server and how many third party calls, how many web services, how many microservices. So a lot of stuff you have to learn uh, at least, uh, not in detail, at least you should know how it works. So next to the architects team, you should be the person should know, must know about your application so that it will uh, help you to in scripting, uh, help you to identify the bottlenecks, identify, uh, you can help uh, the team to improve the performance etc so as i said this is a very simple banking demo application uh, so we are going to see about uh, something session and cookies so that uh, we will see how we can use this uh, information in the uh, vuegen scripting in the correlation basically so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on uh, sign in and then it will take me to login page and I'm going to enter the user ID J Smith and the password is uh, demo1234 capital D D as in Delta so just click on login so once you log in you can see it is uh, uh, displaying the welcome message hello John Smith so I have seen many testers what they do is they just record and they will execute they'll create transactions that's it they don't validate whether they are getting the actual response or not. They don't validate 
whether the response is displaying the right information or not they just run and everything will be passed uh, everyone will be happy the response time will be uh, less than 2 seconds and uh, architects will approve the results and good but once it is goes to production lot of issues they'll have no time for lunch they will have no time for coffee tea then it will come back to performance assessing team then uh, with the help of development team they'll identify okay testing team is using some invalid set of data that is why the response time is very less in the test environment but in the production a lot of issues Be- because people don't check the sanity checks in the script so your responsibility the first thing is you have to handle the checkpoints the text to checks at least you should have some multiple checkpoints or global checkpoints so that your every page response is valid so in this case we have you have to validate hello john smith at least you have to validate the first name and last name in the script so that each user will be able to log in successfully and the server would validate all the users virtual users and then it will give you the right response time in the results so this is uh, from the U, uh, ui perspective for us we can visually see the a uh, welcome message but what about the server how it will identify so it will identify using the valid right session once it is logged in so sh- server will generate these session ids so whatever the server is generating it will be dynamic most of the time and it will display sometimes in the url bar so whenever you click on uh, your url you can till you can see some of the websites will display j session id is equal to some dynamic string or p session id php session or uh, view underscore state for asp.net view underscore or uh, event validation event arguments for example uh, this website icici bank so if you just click on the url you can see forms group id authentication uh, buttons action load and some ga some uh, random random string number so this will be generated by the uh, mostly from the server side even client also will generate so it is our responsibility to identify what is generating from the server side what is generating from the client side so if it is a client side you have to write a custom code if it is a server side you have to capture it using correlation okay so now uh we will see uh, what will be there in the uh, cookies sometimes cookies also will carry the information so cookie is a small information uh, small uh, a file where it will carry about your uh, um, uh, informations like your uh, uh, name or date uh, some small small information so what uh, the, what we are going to see is how to capture that cookies and then uh, it will be very helpful in your scripting of course whatever you are seeing in the browser it will be displayed in the views and as well so i want make sure you are uh, comfortable in uh, uh, both the platforms so in vision also you should work uh, seamlessly and browser also you should uh, learn the uh, tactics so just right click and click on inspect element so i'm using opera browser you can use any browser uh, you can use edge or chrome as well so if you right click a similar interface you will get so whenever you right click inspect element you will get a similar interface in all the browsers so now go to console so and then now we are going to clear the screen just clear the screen and just type document dot uh, cookie and just type so whenever you enter this command it will display some piece of information like see am session id some random uh, number and language and am user info uh, username is equal to uh, base 64 uh, encrypted uh, encoded uh, uh, username and base 64 uh, encoded password and similarly am user id and credit card offer gold a limit uh, interest 7.9 so this is the information right now it is stored in the cookie and it's it will be unique for uh, each user it will be unique for each browser because uh, the server is, server will generate the unique stuffs 
whenever the request being sent from the uh, browser. So now we have to handle this session ID in your script. So without handling, your script may not work as expected and then it will uh, return an invalid uh, results. And then uh, it will sometimes, mostly it will give very, very less response time. And uh, everyone will be happy by seeing your results. But if you're not handled it properly in the production, definitely it will have some issues. So make sure you are learning about this console, how to use this console uh, and uh, how you are, how your knowledge on your application and its architecture. So this is the starting point uh, to learn the advanced concepts in Viogen. And uh, if you are familiar with this application and its architecture and how to use the browser console, it will definitely uh, help you in scripting. And another important uh, stuff I want you to learn is how to handle this uh, network tab. So network tab will trace all the uh, requests and it will display all the responses here. So I just clicked on refresh and if I click on refresh, so these are the uh, requests sent from the browser and it will it is displaying the response. So if you click on preview, you can see the actual preview and the response will have the uh, code view of the response and uh, headers again it will display all the uh, uh, general information uh, response headers uh, request headers and the user payload etc so again this also will be very very uh, helpful uh, when it comes to uh, scripting in vuegen so whatever you are seeing all the details also will be available in vuegen ide but this will be uh, uh, more comfortable uh, for debugging purpose. So starting from next video, we are going to see uh, what is correlation, uh, types of correlation and uh, uh, one type of correlation demo we'll be seeing in the next video. So stay tuned and uh, uh, please subscribe to QA Insights podcast, uh, QA Insights uh, YouTube channel and share this video to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.